Right, so in part A here, we've got two terms which are added together and we need to simplify it. In order to simplify, we've got to rationalize the denominator, okay? Now, it's actually best to do all this in one go, believe it or not, okay? Because in this particular instance, because we've got to rationalize the denominator of this and rationalize the denominator of that, if we do it in one go, you'll see actually it'll come together quite nicely. So if I look at the first one, for instance, and of course, we're going to need here um, root 3 minus 1, but you multiply it then by, of course, the conjugate of that. So my root 3 minus 1 becomes root 3 plus 1. Remember, you simply take whatever's on the bottom and you write it out again, but you change the sign. So whatever's in the middle there, you change it. So it's a minus change to a plus, And you obviously times the bottom by the same as well. Okay. Now, um, put these in brackets, okay, and then we move on to the next one, because what you find then, when you do the next one, right, you'd have 7 over root 3 plus 1, now in this case, you're going to multiply by root 3 minus 1, yeah, because you, you do the opposite of what's there, so it's a minus, okay, so you have that then brackets and what I want you to notice then right the whole point of in this case doing it together okay it's just the way the question set up because you've got root 3 minus 1 here and root 3 plus 1 okay just so happens when you then do them together you'll notice look on the bottom here that times that and then that times that they're the same aren't they okay so you've got the same denominator it's root 3 minus 1 root 3 plus 1 and you've got them you root 3 minus 1 root 3 plus 1 so essentially you've got the same denominator. When you've got the same denominator um, and fractions are adding together, you can literally put the fractions together. Okay, so we'll have root three minus one, root three plus one on the bottom as the common denominator because the denominators are the same. So we can put the fractions together over that denominator. So we'll have on the top nine, root three plus one, and then on the top here added then 7 root 3 minus 1 okay so I mean you can work them out separately if you want okay it's no problem work that out separately work that out separately then put them together okay you love you have the same answer but noticing here that you're doing them together they've got the same denominator we can just add the tops then just like when we add fractions with the same denominator so we can Add the tops together over the of the the denominator of a single fraction. So we expand the top there. We have nine times root three is nine root three. Nine times one is nine. Okay, and then here we've got seven times root three is seven root three, and then seven times one is seven. So it'll be minus seven, of course, because it's minus one. On the bottom, then you know what's going to happen here, don't you? Because you do the first root three times root three is three. Out does is plus root three. In there's is minus root 3. They will always cancel, right? And then the last then is minus 1. So you get there 9 root 3 and 7 root 3. And then you've got the 9 and the minus 7. So let's do the um, the, the number first here. 9 take away 7 is 2. Okay. And then 9 root 3 plus 7 root 3 is 16 root 3. And then don't forget then you're dividing by the bottom. And on the bottom it's just 2, isn't it? 3 take away 1 is 2. So that's nice because when you divide by 2, you can just halve both of these, can't you? So 2 divided by 2 is 1, and 16 divided by 2 is 8. So there's my answer there, 1 plus 8 root 3, okay? Um, when it comes to part B then, okay, now with part B, because there's all different sort of things going on here, I would do these separately. So 90 over root 3. In this case, we've got to rationalize the denominator, yeah? So times top and bottom by root 3. So we, on the top, we get 90 root 3. On the bottom, we just get a 3. Root 3 times 3 is, root 3 times root 3 is just 3. So then you get 90 divided by 3 is 30 root 3, okay? So there's our answer there. On the next one, root 6 times root 8. There's many ways you can do this. You might be thinking, well, I can put them under one square root which indeed you can. So 6 times 8 is um, root 48, yeah? Because 6 times 8 is 48, so that'll be root 48. And then you need to think of a pair, don't you, for 48. 
for bearing in mind, because they're asking us to simplify this, in the first term there, you've got root 3. So 3 is going to be important, isn't it? And if you think about 3, it goes into 48 and 16 times 3. Yeah? So 16 times 3 then, that's quite nice because you could split that up. And of course, you know 16 is, the square root of 16 is 4. So that'd be 4 root 3. Okay? Finally then, you've got the 2 root 3. Um, what is it? Cubed. So that will be 2 root 3 times 2 root 3 times 2 root 3. And what I would do here is I match up the numbers and match up the thirds like that. Okay, so you times them like that. So you've got 2 times 2 times 2 paired together here. So that'll be 8. Okay, 2 times 2 times 2 is 8. Root 3 times root 3 is just 3, isn't it? You pair them up and times root 3 at the end. So you get 24 root 3. So putting them together, they're asking us the first one here then, first one which is 30 root 3, take away the second one which is 4 root 3, and then we've got to um, take away the last one as well which is 24 root 3, and if you do that you get 2 root 3 as our final answer.